this is so pretty. One product, one product, and it's a leave-in. If you're interested in what product I used to achieve this beautiful style, just keep watching. So I am doing my normal twist out today. Twist outs are my go-to style and my hair is clean. I just deep conditioned. And I am about ready to start my flat twists for the twist out. And I'm doing everything the same as I normally do for a twist out. Shampoo condition, deep condition, and my same twisting pattern. I don't want anything that I do leading up to the styling to affect the outcome of the style or affect my thoughts of the product. So I know that if I have that base, leaving everything the same up until, up until using the product, then I can give a fair assessment and review of the product, which today is the Harabi Moisture Madness Leave-In Conditioner, and I cannot wait to use it. So just starting my twists, and for my hair, I always make sure that my hair is very wet when I apply any of my products. So I'll only be using water. So friends, I want to get your thoughts on leave-in conditioners. To me, they are vital and important. I use leave-in conditioners regularly, pretty much 99% of the time. The only time I don't use a leave-in conditioner is when I've got that styler, that one styling product that is so incredible. It's so moisturizing that I don't need to use anything else with it. Um, there are there, there are some out there that I've found, but for the most part, a leave-in conditioner is essential in my wash day routine. It provides moisture to your hair. So those of us with textured hair or kinkier textures, our hair craves that moisture to prevent breakage, split ends, to, to help minimize frizz. And that's where a good leave-in conditioner comes into play. It just helps to keep our hair hydrated and, you know, of course, helps with keeping it soft too. And a leave-in conditioner is just that. You leave it in your hair. So when we condition and deep condition on wash day, we wash those products out and they do their job, but we wash them out. A leave-in conditioner is that extra step, extra step to provide moisture to the hair. And because it's left in there, those nutrients and oils and vitamins in the product just continue to work in your hair, you know, hopefully for the duration of your style. So I think a good leave-in conditioner is, is very, very essential. Do you really need it? It's personal preference. Maybe not. Maybe. For me, yes, I do need it. I need anything that can help my hair. Hey, it can help my hair thrive. So let me know your thoughts. Do you routinely use a leave-in conditioner or is it kind of hit or miss? If you have one, will you use it? How often do you use a leave-in? And if you have a favorite one, tell me what it is because I think YouTube is a great platform to share, um, not only share, but to learn from others. Uh, I know I've certainly learned a lot. So let me know in the comments what your favorite leave-in conditioner is. Okay, so I know my hair and I have a pretty good idea when a product is going to work or when it's going to flop. My first impression of this moisture madness is that we're going to be all right. My hair is shiny. There is incredible slip. And at this point, it is... Serious moisture madness. Okay, friends, so all of my flat twists are in. And like I mentioned before, I don't want to get too excited about the moisture madness. But at this point, it is pretty much rivaling my top two favorite leave-in moisturizer or leave-in conditioners. And I recently did a, a video about those two, so I'll link it. I really would like for you to check it out. 
this is certainly a contender. It smells nice, the scent is really mild, and it's packed full of really, really good ingredients. Um, I won't go through them all, but the first ingredient is water. It's got aloe leaf juice, and I see uh, sweet almond oil. That's just to name a few. And what I'll even do is just link the uh, list the ingredients in the description box for you. But I can't wait to see the, the end result. And I'll be honest with you too, my hair is is really fine, is, is fine. And I don't always have to use a lot of products. So two products at most is what I'll use on my hair. That would be a leave-in and then maybe a gel on top of that. But when I do have an opportunity to try a new product, I may try it by itself first just to see how it works. And if it doesn't give me those stellar results that I know my hair um, can achieve, I'll wait till the next wash day and try that product again and just tweak how I use it and then add something on top of it. But my hair is pretty manageable. So I know everyone's hair isn't like mine. My hair isn't like everyone else's. But for anyone watching my channel who does have hair similar to mine, I just like to share what one product, uh, what one product products do work and maybe they'll work for you too. So at this point, I'm going to air dry for a little bit and then maybe sit under the uh, my hooded dryer and take these out most likely tomorrow. I'm home and I uh, don't have a need to leave the house at all. My hair is so soft and even my twists are shiny. Good indication. All right, stay tuned. All right, friends, so it is the next day and it's time to take down these flat twists. I just love fluffy hair, so I do twists a lot on my channel. But anyway, first of all, I'm happy that my hair is dry because I never even made it to my hooded dryer. I air dried for the remainder of the day and evening. And of course, I just put my bonnet on overnight. And oh, the bonnet that I just took off, it is from the Cantu hair accessories line. I think it came out mid to late 2019 and I purchased it from Target and that is um, one of the designs of their satin scarves. I really like it. So I'm taking my flat twists down. So far so good. I can feel the moisture on my fingertips. I didn't add anything to my fingers or to my hands as I uh, began to unravel my twists. No oils or anything. Just my fingers. Okay, I moved to a new location because where I was, you couldn't see the shine from this moisture madness. And so lighting is better and the uh, it just wasn't getting having any justice where I was. So that's why I moved. My hair is very soft and I am taking down my twists easily, just like, well, of course I say that now on this one, my fingers just got jumbled up, but um, lots of definition and lots of shine. And just to remind you, this is a one product twist out. All I used was the Moisture Madness Leave-In Conditioner by Harabi Beauty. And this is what I got. So now all I have to do is get rid of my part lines from where I had my twists in and a tip for that, if you have fine hair, or even if you don't have fine hair, but you want to um, get rid of those lines, I just get the pads of my fingertips. And um, I don't even know what you call it, but I just kind of <laughs> rub them or judge them along those parts. And that really helps a lot. And it also helps fluff a little in the process.
So again, if you have fine hair and you don't want to weigh it down with so many products, if you like volume, if you like fluff, just try a product that you really like. Try it by itself because you may not need to layer it or to cocktail it with anything else. And here's how I'm fluffing today. I don't have a pick with me, but I am using my wide tooth comb. And I go um, kind of below the curls to create a little extra volume. And that way I don't disturb the definition on top. And this is totally optional. This is so pretty. One product, one product, and it's a leave-in. My final thoughts on Moisture Madness by Harabi Beauty. It's a keeper. This is a leave-in conditioner, and this is all I use to achieve this amazing, gorgeous twist out. My hair is soft. I love twist outs. I love twist outs. I feel like my hair may tend to look the same all the time in many of my videos, but this is my signature style. So um, yeah, this, this product did not disappoint. On the jar, it says, when the thirst is real. <laughs> and we need moisture in our hair, no matter what season. I know it's, it's, we're in summer right now, but summer, fall, winter, spring, we need moisture. And I know I need moisture to keep my hair from being dry to prevent, help prevent those split ends and uh, to prevent some frizz. So this product worked so well alone. I don't know that I will pair it with another product and I might just to see, you know, what the outcome will be. And Harabi Beauty does have other products in their line. So if you're interested, please go to um, their website and check them out. And, um, that's it. I, I, you know, a good leave-in conditioner is essential to any hair care routine, in my opinion. And my hair is kind of sandy brown. It's a light brownish color, so it tends to look dry anyway. And I'm always in the market for a good moisturizer, something that will help my hair not look dry, even if it's not dry. So ladies and gentlemen too, thank you for sticking around and thank you for choosing this video to watch, you know. Without you, there would be no purpose for me making these videos. Please check out Harabi Beauty and tell them Naturally Corporate sent you. Until next time, keep it Naturally Corporate.